All right, so for area under parametrics, there's a little bit of a twist, just like there was for concavity. And it's nothing really all that surprising. Um, f of x dx, that's our normal area in the curve, is our height times some small width, right? We're talking about just two, like rectangles. We're adding them all the rectangles. Really, really thin width. So for parametrics, you have an x function and you get a y function. So your y is our, your height and your x is your width, but we want a small x, right? So when we do the integral, the f of x, which is our height, is our y, or in this case, g of t. And then we've got to do dx. So it's not just our height times dt, i got to do dx. So changing x is just f prime of t, dt basically. So, or in more general, you're going to do y times x prime dt. So that x prime dt is the part that's a little bit tricky, but it's still f of x, which is y, dx, which is change in x, dx dt, x prime dt. And then we're generally doing this between t1 and t2. We're not going to go from a to b. We're not going to go from like an x-coordinate to an x-coordinate, we're getting this to try to stay in terms of t. All right, let's see if we can't actually pull this off here. So the problems are actually pretty easy once you get that. We want to do this. Thetas are t in this case. We're going to do the integral from 0 to 2 pi. And you're just doing y, which would be 6 times 1 minus cosine of theta times dx. So this might be easier in terms of distributed, 6 theta minus 6 sine theta. So dx would be 6 minus 6 cosine theta, d theta. And you toss it in your calculator. Now you'll find out that um, we'll talk more, especially when you get into uh, polar when you want to find the area of enclosed regions, you probably want to sketch some of these out. And so when we want to sketch them out, um, it's, it's also just saying, we're not finding the area like in the bounded region for this particular one. It just says under the parametric curves given by these fun equations. So it's, not, it's never a bad idea to look at them. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. So we'll change our mode down the parametric your calculators probably are on this already after the last section and we'll put in our problems we get six parentheses t minus sine of t and then we've got six parentheses one minus cosine of t Leave everything after that. Oh, it's getting rid of. Okay, start over. Six parentheses, one minus cosine of t. Close that up. Close that up. And we're going to make our window. So change your window, and we're going to go from zero to two pi. Because you don't want to show much more than what you have. So we got that, and then let's press the graph. And we'll take a look at it. So when we look at this from 0 to 2 pi, we can kind of tell that we don't have to worry about it too much going past, like, looping back on itself. But later on, especially when we talk about conics, and not conics, but polar, we really want to look at them because we're making things that look like flowers and stuff like that. And I'll say find one um, petal of the flower shape. And so you really want to look at the graph and know what you're talking about here. So as far as this particular problem goes, and for problems with just find the area under it, not find the area of the bounded region, we can use our formula. So let's talk about this one real quick. We got the integral from 0 to pi. Do your y to sine squared theta times, and then the trick is you do dx. So the derivative of cotangent, uh, man, fun stuff. Um, Derivative of tangent would be secant squared. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared theta d theta. Toss in your calculator. As far as this problem is good, it's concerned, you're good.